Hey, my name is Gaia Athena and today I'm bringing you a book review of The Poet X by Elizabeth Azevedo. I'm reading this book, book in the week of the Contemporary Thon and also in the month of Blackathon. So this is the group book for Blackathon and it also counts for the challenge of the Contemporary Thon to read a book in a non-traditional format because this book is written in verse and this is only the second book I've read that I've written in verse, so for me this is a non-traditional format because I hardly ever read books in verse. And to be honest, it's also not entirely like my thing. This book is about a teenage girl called Ziomara, and she is half Latinx and half black, I think. And she really likes to write poems and do um, slam poetry. poetry. She is having feelings for a boy in the class, but her mother um, is very religious and doesn't want her to have anything to do with boys until she's married. Ziomara lives in Harlem, which is a neighborhood uh, somewhere in the United States. I quite like this cover. I, uh, I like this book. It discusses quite a few themes and I like the characters and I find the story interesting. I do wish a little bit that it had been written in a traditional textbook way rather than in verse. Um, because I personally prefer to read textbooks and verse is not entirely my thing. But I do think that it suits the story because the main character likes writing poems and uh, like performing poems in slam poetry so in that sense I do feel that it really fits the character I just think that novels in verse are maybe not quite for me I have read one other novel in verse which was A Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds I have done a review of that as well um, a few months ago I think and I like the story of that the ending was disappointed to me and I didn't get quite along with the everything written in verse. And I do think it was a format suited for the short time that it takes place. Um, because that book takes place like basically in one elevator ride. It's just that I think in verse is just not quite for me. So other than that, I did like this book. I liked the characters. I liked yeah, how the story progressed. And some of the pages in verse i thought it was well done and i thought yeah this this is nice and other pages i was just like i wish this has been a textbook i kind of want to know more about the thoughts of the main character in her head and yeah does does that make sense so overall i like this book i didn't love it but i yeah i liked it i hope you can see me all right because it's pretty sunny so i tried to find a position where you can still see me all right but it's nice and sunny and i'm enjoying enjoying being um, here with, you know, the nice weather. And I'm sorry about that leaky tap, if anyone's noticed whenever I'm in this room. We have a, a like a bowl underneath it to catch the water and then when it's filled up, I use it to water the plants. But yeah, I'm very sorry if that bothers you when you watch my videos. This room is the best one in terms of lighting, but I agree that that leaky tab is not, not ideal. Yeah, I don't really know what else I can say about this book. I, I'm not disappointed. I, I have heard mostly good reviews for this book. Most people seem to have liked it and I'm not disappointed. I was a little bit wary of going into it because of that it's written in verse and that I thought that's just not quite my thing but I was surprised that I did really like I like the characters and the story well I don't really know what else to say right now so we're gonna leave it at this I liked the book I didn't love it but I liked it thank you very much for watching this book review and I hope to see you in my next video bye look who is enjoying the nice weather she loves lying in the sun in this room